We have, I, wow, a crazy challenge. Um, this from a friend of ML's. And not only do we have this crazy challenge, but we've got two wonderful guests with us this week. We have Adrienne and Corey from Arts Really Cool. So thank you guys for joining us this week. And especially thank you for joining us in a collaboration that calls to do, represent a, an underwater volcanic explosion. Let me repeat that, an underwater volcanic explosion. <laughs> so I have got nine colors here, pretty much the rainbow really. And we're gonna get started. I have got too many paints um, that I hauled out to make these up, so I'm not gonna go through them, but they, all the paints that I used will be in my description below. All right, so this is going to be my base coat, as I said before, and it is going to represent the water. All right, I'm gonna set up, I'm just gonna set up a few um, bits of cardboard, lay them against one another. Okay, underwater volcanic explosion. <laughs> I'm going to just puddle it out. As you can see, my uh, explosion is going to be very colorful. For the explosion part, I'm gonna do the black, but I'm gonna puddle the black down here where the explosion supposedly starts. So I'm tempted, let's see. Let's get these out of the way a little bit. I'm imagining I'm gonna do a few of these puddles, but let's see how Let's see how I go with this one first. Yikes. Do I do that or do I do this? I'm gonna get in here and go. <laughs> kind of like the little loops it's making. That's very cool. I am liking this. Where'd my yellow go? Tiny bit over here. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna do it in reverse order now. See what happens. Let's make them close. Maybe I'll put just a little bit less black in this one. Like that. It's fun. I do enjoy making a mess in controlled circumstances. How fun! 
only thing is, is that it's not filling back in. I'm gonna have to go again over here. But I really like this. Okay, it's a good thing I have just a teeny tiny bit left. Ready, are we ready? Oh, I think I need to flick more. That. Ooh, that one went completely off. Good thing I had the cardboard there. That was fun. A rock projectile. Go leave it. Leave it, leave it. Just playing around here. Walk in the paint a bit. I do have to stretch it out. Hmm. I want this to come out over here too. It, have it come off with that edge there. Okay. So I'm just walking it back down. See, there's a few areas here where <gasps> ah! where ah! disaster can strike. Sheesh. Maybe I'll just add some color in. Because why not? Who says I can't? New one. bit that could go in there. Maybe the yellow. I'm just going to drag it in. Blend these bits in. Might just even leave that there, I'm not sure. So now everything's moving a little bit more cohesively. And again, just walking it down.
really want to have too much more come off of this. The edges of my canvas is drying here and here. That'll be like a drop coming down. I like how this, I think I'm done. I think I am done. I am, I'm, I'm really loving this piece. Look at all those bubbles. You know, I like this so much. I may mix up more of this bright aqua green and do a second sister piece because I still have plenty of paints left over. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so here's my setup. <laughs> That's to protect my floor from the flicks. And I have reset up and let's go again. less flickage. There we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Woo! Hot diggity! Okay, 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 calm, calm, calm. Yeah. Why did I put this over the canvas? I know better. I cannot even begin to tell you how cool these areas are. In my opinion. In my opinion. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, that's over. Here we are with the final pieces. The one on the left is the one I did first. And the one on the right is the second one. I have not done anything to this paint or to the paintings since I did them. And I'm debating whether to put resin on them or to just spray varnish them or even to just leave them as they are. What would you guys do? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. And as always, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Wasn't this a fun challenge? Again, thank you so much to Adrian and Corey for joining Marie Louise and myself in this week's crazy underwater volcanic explosion. So again, if you have not seen their videos, please check their links out in my description below. Go check them out, give them a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed because you're not going to want to miss out on any of Adrian and Corey's or Marie Louise's art pieces. All right, thanks so much for being here. Bye for now.